This video will help you understand how to set up your baseline Wi-Fi module. Here's what's in the box. The installation instructions, a power cord, antenna cord, and a zip tie. There's also the salt shaker antenna and the Wi-Fi module itself. The first thing we're going to do is power down the controller at the circuit breaker by unplugging it or by unplugging the orange lead from the transformer. Now I'll pull out the rubber plug from the antenna hole and install the salt shaker antenna. There's no need to torque it down, just snug down lightly with the wrench. Install and hand tighten the antenna cable next. The Wi-Fi module is held on with three screws. That last one's a little hard to find at the bottom. Now with the module secured, I can snug down the other end of the antenna cable. Now I'll connect the power cable to the port labeled COM2 and the other end to the module. Use the zip die to secure both the power and the antenna cables so they aren't damaged. With all communication modules, make sure that the antenna is connected before powering up the controller. Powering a module without an antenna connected will damage the device and void the baseline warranty. Now it's time to configure the Wi-Fi module. Begin by turning the dial to the network position and with communication setup highlighted, press enter. The default communication type is ethernet, but I'll use the plus or minus buttons to change that to CN Wi-Fi or cloud network Wi-Fi. Notice at COM type status, it says that the module is available, but it's not connected. So arrow down to Wi-Fi setup and press enter. With find a network highlighted, press enter to search for your local Wi-Fi network. Select your particular Wi-Fi network by highlighting it and pressing enter. Now enter the security code or password for that Wi-Fi network. Once that's entered, navigate to and press OK. Press back and it'll open up Base Manager Server Setup. It's currently disconnected, so highlight Connect and then press Enter. If you've previously connected to Base Manager, you'll see the status change to Connected both here and on the Run screen. If you haven't connected your controller to Base Manager yet, there's an extra step. About now, an authorization code has popped up on the screen, so take a picture of it or write it down. At a computer, go to baselineapps.net, log into your account, and open Base Manager. In the menu in the upper left corner, select Administration, and then Administration again. In this new tab, go to My Controllers and add a new controller. Select a site, enter the PIN from the controller, and add the additional site data to complete the link. Back at the controller on the run position, Base Manager is green and it says connected. This tells me that my Wi-Fi module is active and that it's connected to Base Manager.